Hi everyone, I'm Jim and welcome to the review of Summer Eyes to the Sky, the debut studio album by the band Shadows Fall. Today we're celebrating the 25th anniversary of the record, so I've decided to go back and see if it still holds up or not. As you may know from my The Art of Balance and Fire from the Sky album reviews, I've been a massive fan of this band for almost 15 years. This record is different from the next albums because it features mostly classic American death metal vibe with that Gothenburg mellow death sound of At The Gates and In Flames. It also features some hardcore breakdowns. It's just a weird hybrid, but to quote a genius person, it just works. The album was produced by Adam Dudkiewicz, Killswitch Engage guitarist. He also produced Fire From The Sky album. This is the only record with Philip on the vocals. He's the guy that founded All That Remains when he was fired from this band because they wanted to have Brian Farr as the vocalist since the beginning because the guys from Shadows Fall were massive overcast fans. Shadows Fall recorded a demo in 1996, Mourning A Dead World. As you may know from my The Art Of Balance review, it has a song called Dead World, which was re-recorded for the 2001 EP and then for the 2006 compilation. Besides that, it also had three songs, Lifeless, Suffer The Season and Fleshhold. Fleshhold, as you already know, is on this album and the next one of One Blood and Suffer The Season and Lifeless were re-recorded for this record. What's interesting about this is the fact that the band had a different vocalist called Damien and that dude also did vocals on Eternal and Somber Angel. Philip came to the band later, so it makes me wonder who actually wrote the lyrics here. If you scroll down here you can see the personal and it states that John, the guitarist, co-wrote lyrics on track 6 and 8. But if I were to check off one blood page on the Wikipedia, it states that Matt, the other guitarist, wrote lyrics for Revel in My Loss, Fleshhold, and Two Ashes. I feel like a conspiracy nutjob right now. Who wrote their lyrics? I guess we will never truly know. The production is raw, this whole album sounds like a demo to be honest, but it has a charm to it. It could have been better but it suits the music mostly. The message is diverse. Songs are mostly about depression, suicide, relationships and friendships in general. I actually really enjoyed the lyrics on this album because they convey emotional pain, overall hatred towards mankind and yourself. This is really dark shit, but you can really feel it and I love it for that. Structure-wise, this album is all over the place. Some songs have basic structures, some advanced, and we have even technical songs here. Imagine a song that has 16 different segments. This actually happens on this album. So the variety of the structures is actually really interesting and it helps the album. Musically, as I said before, this is a mix of that Gothenburg mellow death sound with that classic American death metal vibe. We also have some breakdowns, hardcore stuff, maybe even trash metal, but it's mostly death metal influenced for sure. 80% of the vocals here are those death growls and the rest is just singing and screaming. My favorite thing about Shadows Fall in general is the fact that the, both of the guitarists do the vocals. Matt is great at doing growls and singing and the other guy, John, he also does great unclean vocals. It makes the music more memorable when every vocalist sounds different and there are three of them. Here it's not as interesting as on the next album because as you know Brian has a distinct voice and Philip here, his growls are actually okay but the guitarist Matt does them better. so. Why is Philip even on this album, to be honest? Because some of the singing done by Philip here is not that good, to be honest. Everything else he does, especially the screaming, amazing. But that singing is... <laughs> it's average at best. The album starts with Revel in My Loss. This is one of my favorite songs ever and my favorite track of Shadows Fall. 
but not this version. What I love about this song is the structure, which is technical, a lot of changes, those classic melodeath sounds are here, some tremolo picking, some blast beats, some amazing double kick work by the drummer, the bassist is killing it, the guitarist as well. The vocals are epic. On the re-recorded version for Of One Blood, here they are just good. My biggest problem with this version is the fact that some of the vocal lines are not in sync with the music. The Of One's Blood version is what I call the final version because it actually has some added riffs here and there. I like those pinch noises on the new version and the fact that it has a guitar solo. This one does not. Also remember that whenever I am talking about the Of One Blood album, the second Shadows Fall record, I am always talking about the remastered 2008 edition. And Of One Blood is an album that was remastered two times. In 2002 it was re-released as Fear Will Drag You Down and it had a slightly different production than the original and it was still awful and then it was remastered yet again in 2008 by Zeus and some dude and that version sounds massive and amazing. So I am always referring to that 2008 version. That 2008 remastered Revel in my Lost version is 12 out of 10 but this one is just 9 out of 10. It's an unfinished gem here. It's almost perfect but they had to work on it a little bit more and on Of One Blood it was perfected. Pure on the other hand is a masterpiece and I wouldn't change a thing here. Everything from the vocals to the guitars, bass, drums is just perfect. I love those guitar riffs, the melodies, the guitar solos, the atmosphere this song has, the singing is even perfect. I wish this song was re-recorded so we could appreciate it in a better quality. But overall, I think that this is a legendary thing that you should listen to right now. 11 out of 10, Lead Me Home gives us some space after the previous track Pure. Pure was a journey, it's over 6 minutes long and it's an epic tale, so they give us Lead Me Home to make us chill for a bit. This is my favorite instrumental song by Shadows Fall. It's way better than the stuff they've added to The Art of Balance. Here it's actually heartwarming and you can actually cry because it's just so beautiful instrumentally. A perfect interlude or however you call these tracks. To me it's a standalone thing that I like to listen to when it's sunny and nostalgic outside. I don't know, it's just I always feel like that. I love this track. 10 out of 10. Two Ashes is another song that was later re-recorded for the next album. Another melodic death metal masterpiece. The acoustic parts here, the structure, everything is just beautiful. I love the growling here on this version, but I am not a fan of the clean singing. I think the next version of the song had better cleans but slightly worse growling brian just couldn't do it as good as phil so yeah both versions have their pros and cons i still think that the next version is better but this one is great as well i've enjoyed it from beginning to the end lots of changes lots of emotions and atmosphere 9 out of 10. Nurture is one of the most interesting songs on this record because it's mostly classic death metal. It's just so heavy and full of growls and screams that I don't even see the current lineup of Shadows Fall ever performing it live. Again, as all the previous songs, it's about depression, suicide, emotions, just you're done with life, everything is awful love is fake, stuff like that. This is some emo shit, but it's written correctly, like it's not cringy in any way. It's actually very sad, if you think about it. The instrumental work here sounds like Cannibal Corpse mixed with Overcast, basically, and I am not a big fan of it, but I do enjoy that change. Before the third minute, we have that classic Melodev Gothenburg style riffs and just blast beats 
I love that shit. I haven't heard this album in a while, so when that moment came in the song, I think I shed a fucking tear because it was just so beautiful. That blast section with that Gothenburg sound. No, 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 no. Amazing thing. This is almost a perfect song. Some of the riffs here and there are not that great, and because of that technical structure, it has like 12 or 14 segments. And I don't like like one segment in the song. It's like the first minute or 20 seconds, I think. It's hard to tell because there's so much stuff going on in these songs. Anyways, 9 out of 10. Flash Horde is probably one of the first song Shadows Fall ever made. It's also funny how they've re-recorded it basically four times. Like this is the third version of this song, right on this first album. We cannot even hear the previous songs because the demos and those singles are not even on the internet. Believe me, I've checked. I wish we could hear them so we could compare the changes, but we sadly cannot. At least we can check out the next version on Off One Blood, and that one is a masterpiece. This one is not. The biggest change they've done on the next album is cut out the intro. Here we have that a little soothing Meh, meh, meh vocals in the beginning, Phil is singing the chorus, and this is actually his worst vocal performance on this album. The singing here is awful. It ruins the song. What's even more surprising is the fact that the growling here is also worse than on the next version. So we actually have no reason to ever hear this version again. I would give this song 10 out of 10 on Off One Blood, but here I'm just giving it 7 out of 10. Eternal on the other hand is the weakest song on this record. I do enjoy it, but not the first couple of segments. I must say it sounds like a filler death metal track, but right in the middle it shifts, lots of tremolo, the vocals great growling everything so yeah this is a weird track check it out because it's a journey for sure it will take you to some dark places i dig it 7 out of 10 suffer the season has kinda punk vibe when it comes to some of the riffs but as usual most of the riffage and melodies is pure death metal with some melodic death metal hints it's just better than eternal but that's it. So 8 out of 10. Summer Angel is another banger. It reminds me of the song To Ashes. Amazing instrumental work here. I love the acoustic parts, I love the heavy death metal parts. Everything works in this song instrumentally. From the bass to the guitars to the drumming. The drumming on this record is just phenomenal. David, the band's drummer for this and next record, he was amazing. I just loved his work and style. It's distinct and makes the songs memorable. What brings this song down for a little bit are some of the vocals here and there and one of the segments. Overall, almost a masterpiece, 9 out of 10. And the final song on the record, Lifeless. This is my second favorite Shadows Fall song ever. It has that classic melodic death metal Gothenburg vibe, but with that heavy hardcore energy to it. I love the vocals here, they are perfect from the beginning to the end. Every little piece of this song is memorable, fun to listen to, and it will stay in your head. This is the highlight for me on this record. Like for sure Revel in My Loss is my favorite song of Shadows Fall, but the re-recorded version. Lifeless doesn't have a re-recorded version, so here this is the best song on this album. 11 out of 10. To sum it all up, the consistency is stable and the flow is fitting, replayability, hell yeah, it's an excellent record, I enjoy every song here, even Eternal, there are no weak or average songs here, just good or great or masterpieces. Sure, some things don't work, like the clean singing in some parts, but overall, this record is very memorable, it sounds distinct, it has its own identity. It was fun to review this album for you guys because listening to these songs after so long brought back some good memories. This music is very soothing, the lyrics are very relatable, so celebrate the anniversary by spinning this record today with me. It deserves some respect and attention for sure. That's all from me. 
thank you for watching, don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in my other reviews, bye!